Now I've been using Gennaro Studio in most of these demonstrations, so I'm not going to concentrate too much on the features in Gennaro Studio. I'm going to concentrate on what's new in Gennaro Studio in 2.40. The first thing I want to look at is um, the concepts we've added to enable you to make more use of the available screen real estate. So we've got these um, views available, um, workspace views, so normal debug document. So here I am in normal view, but I can switch to document mode. And you can see I've got more space available for my document because I'm just these are just the bits I'm interested in when I'm editing a document. When I come to run it, when I come to run it, I can slip back into um, normal mode. I've also got the ability just to maximize the space available by getting rid of the window title bar and the status bar at the bottom. So I click that button and we've got more space available. So um, particularly important when you've got small screens, we've got working on big forms or as we'll soon see, um, database diagrams or business application diagrams. Now when using Gennaro Studio or setting it up for your environment, one of the questions you always get asked is, do we create a 4PW or a project workspace on a per program or a per, um, or do you just have one big global 4PW? Um, so in Gennaro 2.40, we introduced a new feature um, called external projects, and that enables you to do the best of both worlds. So in this example, I've got a very small project for my very small Hello World program. But I've also got some, if I go to my All project, then that's a project that's encompassing all the programs in my application. And how I've been able to do that is using something called an external project. So I've been able to import in the into this big All project all the projects corresponding to the individual programs. And how you do that is simply um, right click and add external project. The advantages of having an external project is with this all, your head developer, they can come along and do things like the rebuild all and that's gone away and rebuilt every program in my project. And it's done that by just by going and looking at all the external projects corresponding to each of the individual programs I have in my application. So um, we, that, was, that was something I didn't quite realise the significance of when I saw it in the Gennaro 240 new features list, but um, over time I've seen that and I think it will be beneficial to a large number a large number of people in our user base who will have been asked that question to me over the time, do I create a 4PW on a per program basis or on a um, application or module basis? And the answer is both. Use external projects and you get the best of both worlds. What we also have with Gennaro Studio 2.40, if I go to the Office Store application um, sample that we ship, I can see some examples of um, the database diagram. So here's a good place where I want to use it, document editing mode. Turn that on and I've got more space available. But there's my database. Um, as you can see, um, number of tables, columns, and, and for each of the tables and columns, we can come in and um, adjust the properties. So table, properties and column properties. From these we can then generate a script to generate the database and in the future we expect to have scripts to enable you to also alter the database. The other diagram we have is the business application diagram and this enables us to um, generate applications so just by creating new programs, new forms, etc. I won't, I won't go into the details of that uh, in this example. But what we can look at is some of the generated code. So here in the project workspace we have intermediate files and if I go and um, expand on them then we can see the generated 4GL code. And that has the um, concept of the point and block where you can place code inside the point and block and when you regenerate the application um, the code inside the point and block will be maintained. So that's where you stick your business logic and things that are unique to your application. So if we um, and if we run one of these generated applications, so this is the 4GL that's been generated, if we just click there and run, that sort of gives you an idea of what our generated application looks like. And um, I'll actually show a bit more of that during the HTML5 presentation. So just to re-emphasise some points with Gennaro Studio, um, some points I made earlier when I was going through the slides, we, um, you know, developers don't come out of university knowing VI anymore. They expect to have a GUI looking environment like this where um, they design forms by pointing and clicking and um, they're not using VI to edit files. They're using a code editor with all the associated um, 
mouse functionality and keyboard functionality within they expect to see inside a code editor. So going forward, we expect most of our developers to be working inside Gennaro Studio or some other IDE to give the developers a more modern development environment.